Hey, I'm Leah Butler, and welcome to class. Today we're going to rev up your digestion and stoke the fire of transformational processes. So let's get right in. Enjoy. And don't forget to stay till the end of Shavasana because I always ask a community question, and today is, I think is a, a valuable one, an important one. See you in the comments. Let's step with feet a little bit wider than hips distance apart. We're going to move into Kapalbhati breath, a breath of fire. We'll bring a little twisting into it. We'll start slow and then we'll pick up the pacing. So go ahead and start naturally moving left and right. Add that forceful abdominal exhale. Passive inhale. Picking up speed ever so slowly. Until it's really rapid, Kapalbhati. Slow it down. Arrive to center. Find natural breath. Empty at the abdomen, drawing it back. Twisting to your left, reach through right arm. And switch the sides, really reaching through left arm. Switch again, reach to the left. And then morph it into a side body stretch. Staying strong at the root lock. And back through center, starting with a twist to the right, reach through left arm. And morph that into a side body opening, fullness in the breathing. Inhale through center. We'll join the feet together at the top of the mat. Finding Surya Namaskars. Empty out. Inhaling, reach up high. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat. Right arm will reach high on your inhale. Exhale, hands down. Step to plank pose, filling up. Exhale, lower, chaturanga or the ground. Inhale and up dog or cobra. Let's savor this one. Tipping left and right, even looking over each shoulder. Kneading at downward facing dog, bending into each knee. And take a small step in with both feet, a little closer. Sweep the right leg up high to the sky. And then hop that left foot right between your hands. Let the feet meet, flatten the back, inhale. Exhale, fold completely. Press the toes down, lift the heart to stand all the way up. Exhale, back to mountain pose. Again, inhale, reaching upward. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, flatten out. Exhale, step the right foot to the back. Inhale, the left arm high, a little twist. Exhale, hands down. Inhaling to plank pose. Good form. Exhale, lower chaturanga or the ground. Again, inhale to your heart opening. Let's linger on it a little while. How long can the spine get?
impossible bend in the elbows to intensify as you move back through to downward facing dog. Connect to breath. Both feet step in a little bit. And sweep the left leg out behind. You might gaze forward as you bend your right knee and leap that foot between your hands. Feet meet, long spine. Fold over. Root to rise. Arms to Tadasana. Let's come through one more. We'll build a flow from it. Inhaling, reach up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale to flat back. Keep heart light as you step or spring to lower down. Inhaling the heart open. Exhale your way to downward facing dog. Connect. Option for belly pumping, little nowly. So on an exhale, I'm going to invite you to empty out the contents of your belly. Try gathering the belly muscles into the center. We're going to pulp, uh, pump pretty rapidly, just about 10 times. So take an inhale first. You might soften the knees as you exhale, evacuate the belly. And then pump. Go ahead. 10, 4, 3, 2, and one, sweep the right leg out high behind. Let's open that hip, bend the knee, start with small circles. Make them bigger circles. And then circle wide up and around to tap left tricep. Get empty, sweep behind. Do it again. Tap the knee to left tricep. Kick the foot off. Ground the back heel. Find fallen triangle. Left arm reaches across your ear line as the hips lift high. Let's breathe. Take a peek at the ground. Roll your left hand down. Let the back heel come up. This might feel like enough. But if you want more today, building heat, send the right arm up toward the sky, this revolved fallen triangle. Long spine, gazes high. Roll the right hand back down, bend the right knee to tap your nose, and sweep it back behind. Not quite done with the side. Draw the knee forward again. Plant the foot between your hands. Grounding back heel, make this warrior two. On an inhalation, sweep everything upward. Straighten both legs. Point both sets of toes outward. On an exhale, bend knees, hands to thighs for a goddess shape. You'll send your right shoulder forward pretty deeply. Look behind you. And then back through center, left shoulder forward deeply. Look behind. Inhale through center, open to cactus arms. Point the chest up, circle the arms back 10 times. Go ahead, nine, eight, seven, six, keep going. And then straighten both legs, parallel the feet, take a dive all the way to hands. Flatten the back and fold deeply. And use your abdominal musculature to keep folding.
flatten out. And take the left toes in, right toes point to the front. Going to launch into revolved half moon. I'm balancing on the right foot and left fingers. Left leg is hovering parallel. Lift the right arm to the sky. Fullness in the breathing. Active lines everywhere. This could be enough. If you're looking for more though, bend the back knee, take hold of that foot. It's like you're bound but breaking free. Make some room here. Slow release back to revolved half moon. And roll the right fingers down. We'll step all the way back to make peaceful warrior just for the inhale of it. And then exhale, roll your hands down. You can sweep the right leg high behind. Take any flow that calls to you, including chin stand. at downward facing dog chance to connect to breathing and focal point sweep your left leg out behind you'll open that hip bend the knee start with small circles painting on the ceiling Make the circles bigger. And you'll circle this knee up and around the top, the right tricep, get empty. Sweep back behind. Again, knee taps, right tricep. Kick the foot off this time. Find fallen triangle early on, ground the back heel, Right arm across your ear line. Freedom. So powerful in the left hand to lift out of the left shoulder. Big breathing. Take a peek down. Roll the right hand down. This could be enough. If you're looking for it, though, lift the back heel. Lift the left arm toward the sky. Revolving. Gaze high if you can. Roll both hands down, bend left knee, bring it in towards your nose. Can you really touch? Sweep back out behind. And again, knee comes back toward the nose. You place this foot between your hands, ground your back heel to find warrior two. On an inhale, reach up, straighten the legs, parallel the feet. Open arms out wide and keep a little back bend as you come just halfway down. Pausing to feel this. Then interlacing hands behind. Draw the knuckles down and fold. Flatten your back, come on to fingertips. 
take a fun twist, threading the needle, right hand grabbing left outer ankle, fold down, reach the left arm forward, but keep the fingers on the ground. Okay, you can really press your chest underneath that left tricep, aiming to keep hips even. And that could really be enough, but if you want more from this, crawl your left fingers over to the right as though you could one day grab hold of that right ankle. And I'll tell you, it feels impossible until you suddenly surprise yourself by doing it. Wherever you are, enjoy breath. And then find neutral back on the fingertips. Left hand grabs right outer ankle. Walk the right arm forward first. The fingers are still on the earth. Point your chest to the right like your head could tuck underneath the right tricep. That is plenty. But if you're looking for more, crawl the right fingers over to the left. Surprise yourself. center flat back I'm gonna pivot right toes in left toes point to the front I'm gonna build your revolved half moon shift forward balance on right fingers hover right leg lift the left arm strong lines this is enough or bend the back knee reach for that foot Experience being bound, but then making freedom anyway. Explore it. slow release hands down you're making peaceful warrior stepping back to breathe in fill up and exhale roll the hands down we'll sweep the left leg high behind finding your flow through to downward facing dog and step or hop to sit all the way down and get a little core in and then recline so tip yourself backward palms face each other this could feel like a lot or hover the heels about six inches above earth see how low you can get your shoulder blades just before you're about to reach or lose control and then come all the way up to full expression of boat, this V in the body. Can we do that five times? Lower. And lift. Lower. And lift. Three, lower. And lift. Lower. And lift. Last time, lower. Come back up. Hug the knees in. Take the soles of your feet together. Bring them in close. You can balance on the sitting bones. Lift your feet off the earth. Take happy baby on the sitting bones, if that's possible. Knees come back, the feet split. If you're looking for more, extend the legs completely. Gaze high. Bring the feet close to each other. And then hover.
how slowly can you lower the legs and we'll recline all the way back hug the right knee in toward your chest send the knee wide for a moment and then cross it all over your body lengthen the spine to enjoy twist back through center left knee comes in extend the right leg long we'll open the left knee wide for a moment and cross it over your body making twist And then come back to center. You'll extend long. Take up some space for final relaxation. This is only two minutes. I encourage you to stay. Absorb the work that's been done on your body. Even if you've got more yoga, more working out to do. What is the harm? Go inward. Let's return to daylight breathing and some movement. And come all the way up to a seat. I'm so glad you're here, Yogi. Today's community question is a simple one. Do you have any specific ways that you are dealing with pandemic that you think might be helpful to other people in the comments section? What sorts of tips and tricks do you have? I'd love to hear them. Thank you for being here. Stay in touch. Namaste. By the way, yogis, if you're still tuning in, I want to make you aware that I do do one hour classes every single Sunday of the year over on my website, leahbelleryoga.com. Love it, and I gotta be honest, I save my best stuff for the membership site. Stay in touch. Namaste.